How's it going, guys? Back here on the GT6 server for Tyler Craft. And we have another update video for you. This is kind of a dual update. There were some small things that were added late last week in the uh, .08 update. And then we have the regular weekly .09 update. Uh, one thing that was added for the uh, .08 was a small tungsten ore added to the world gen to help people be able to find tungsten earlier on to make a tungsten crucible so you can make a smelter. Apparently people were having issues with finding tungsten. And there was also a book added with steam related machines. It's another one of his uh, books he's been writing. I'm not sure if it even shows up in any eye. I'm sure it's another uh, loot book. Let's see, there it is a steam manual. Can only make it by finding one so this is another Greg Tech bronze emblem book to be found uh, the mass storage now hides unused numbers and I'm trying to think if I actually have a mass storage on this side I don't believe I do but I know I have one over here Where I have my uh, charcoal stored, so you can see there's no extra zero there anymore. And let's see, magnetic separator recipes have been changed to be more dynamic. Um, I'm not quite sure what the dynamic part of it is, but. I'll show you what it means here. Basically, you now get a refined ore when you put in a regular ore, which will still be worth the 11 nuggets that the purified was. And then you'll have a 50% chance of whatever the byproduct is that you were going to get out of it. So, platinum ore, you get refined platinum ore and 50% chance of two nickel ore and these are refined nickel ore as well so they will go together to make another refined ore which then can be you know shredded into the regular one and because it says contains 0.122 Two units of nickel should be able to go into a crucible not quite sure why it doesn't show the crucible smelting recipe and so I'll have to bring that up to Greg let's see dust funnel being able to accept from the bottom it's not supposed to be like that so it was fixed Apparently, you could pipe things in through the bottom. I never actually tried to hook it up that way because it didn't make sense. Uh, let's see. Fix the empty or dick prefix filters causing null pointer exceptions. And that's a good thing to have fixed. Alright, now to the meat and potatoes. The 60309 update. The first one is a ninja fix. And funny thing is, I ninjaed Greg back because I don't have the fixed recipe or the fixed NEI hook or whatever the hell it is. If you look in your hello, in your extruder. 
Good gravy. Alright, we gotta turn weather down for a minute. That is one heck of a storm, and I'm only at 2% for my weather. Alright, weather off. And even Brutal's talking about how bad it was. Anyways, if we go in here, we go into the extruder, and we look at, say, this pipe here. And the recipe for it, it'll show three tiny. Pile will make that pipe three plates, three ingots, three nuggets, three small. That won't work. So he ninja fixed it, but so that is supposed to be fixed now. I have to go re download so I can get the actual fix. Uh, he had me download almost immediately so I could check out something else real quick. So I have the pre ninja fix. Uh, let's see. Then you have the pleasant surprise that all of us that are considered supporters, those of, those that have donated or become patrons of Greg Tech. If you haven't already, when you upgrade you or update, you will find a nice little message come across your chat that thanks you. And this in your inventory. A certificate for support of Greg Tech. And I'll try to get all these stupid in here. Do it this way. There you go. Pause video. You want to read exactly what it says. There is your certificate plaque. It cannot be recycled. There is no recycling for it, so no tossing in the crucible to see what you get. You will get one per Greg Tech 6 World, one per um, server, single player, whichever. So anytime from here on out that you start a Greg Tech 6 World, if you're a supporter, you'll get one of those. If you're interested in becoming a supporter, Go check out Greg's forum on the IC2 forums for his Patreon. There's also a link to that in my description. Or you can give him a one-time supporter gift through PayPal. So, let's see. Next we have the laser engraver. The electric laser to power it and laser fiber wire so let's look up laser here I don't have the things to build these made yet mainly because of this part here but the main thing is the laser engraver this is what's going to be used to make your circuits to engrave your wires uh, if you remember at this time you have to take or before now you had to take a pair of cutters surround them with fine copper wire like that and you would get these circuit wires well now if you look in here you have the laser engraver with copper foil and the proper lens and that will make your wires you can also make chisel stone brick, chisel marble, and there's all the different wires. You also can do the black granite, I think the basalt. You can even use the stone generator module. So you don't actually have to load the cobble in there. And then you got these special crystals that are not even used yet in here but that's its basic use same thing as Greg Tech 5 basically uh, just now we have a couple new lenses 
and it comes in all the regular electric flavors from aluminum to titanium aluminum being your LV titanium being uh, Ivy usually they say in there see LV MV HV EV Ivy so yeah that'll be Ivy yeah I was right check it out alright so then these are the lasers that power them here's the recipe for it real quick before I get into that you need some kind of stained clay or hardened clay in the center just a clay block two small aluminum gears two screws your machine casing and your circuits so you'll have to make your first circuit with the fine wires or make the IC2 ones and then you'll be able to cut the rest of them and you'll see that the only thing that changes is the uh, gears screws machine casing and the type of circuits that you need so you have your basic circuit here you have your good circuits for MV your advanced circuits for HV and then elites and these should be masters so there you go not a very expensive machine but a very important one and then you have the laser that actually powers it so now we have LU power it's laser units and you'll see it's a carbon oxide laser carbon dioxide laser which takes this carbon dioxide laser emitter to make it and they all take that same laser oh wait a minute on one there we go just depends on how many of them it's going to take so you have LV will take one one tin wire your aluminum casing and circuits MV is going to take two lasers two wires two good circuits and the galvanized then you've got three and three and then you've got four and a four X and then you've got a four X and five now there are other laser emitters here you have a monoxide you have a helium neon a xenon an argon a krypton a neon a helium and then just your regular empty one so this is how you're going to create the actual tube itself which is two silver plates glass copper cable a good circuit hey that's a reason to use that good circuit I screwed up main and a stainless steel screw with cutters and a screwdriver and then that will need to be put into a canning machine with whatever you're going to fill it with which in this case is going to be the carbon dioxide right there carbon dioxide carbon dioxide laser emitter carbon dioxide being pretty easy to get you know any kind of carbon in a roaster with some oxygen will give you your carbon dioxide you can use coal, ash, dark ash, graphite. I do believe any of those will work. Diamonds. There's graphene. There's carbon. And there's coal coke. Okay, so ash isn't in here. You can get the carbon out of the ash. I know that. So apparently you do have to refine the ash first into carbon not real sure why that won't work burnable fuels you can get it that way but we still don't have this yet 
can't wait until we do but that's how you're gonna make those the only ones that I know of that have a use at this time other than this one is this one to make this crystal processor socket which doesn't even have a use yet so not really a reason to make it you know you can make the actual sapphire and emerald diamond and ruby crystals processors but as far as I know from what I've seen in here none of them have a use yet so that's at least a little foreshadowing of what's to come with those and then we also have the wire that is used this is laser fiber wire two silver plates two redstone two diamonds two glass and your cutters will give you one wire and it transfers the la laser fiber or the laser units it is lossless because it is a light it is a laser but as far as I know there's no way of transferring laser back over to electricity so you can't use it to run fiber optic line throughout your world to transfer power losslessly at least not as of yet I have to hope that Greg will add something like that eventually but seeing as how he made that long range wire a couple updates back probably not gonna happen and let's see last but not least we have a fermenter now, from what I understand, this is the fermenter from Greg Tech 5, basically. Will not replace the forestry one. It's three large stainless steel pipes, stainless steel machine casing, two sets of bricks, and double. It uses heat units. There's only one variant of it, and this is for making... Uh, different drinks and things like that and I want to take a look at the GUI for it this should make some drinks available again that weren't before uh, get my wrench out of here alright and need to stick these in the roll bender down here to make my large stainless steel uh, pipes I have my bricks let's go ahead and make our double copper plate there we go and then this will go up here hammer and wrench two sets of bricks and I need bending cylinder I don't know why I put the wrench and hammer in there I actually need them to make these there's my good old bending cylinder I made it out of neodymium Oh no, that's steel. I had a neodymium one. Had extra laying around, so I figured why not. Alright, so give me these. And as soon as this gets done, we'll make these plates. Now, each one of these will take six curved plates for each pipe as they are large so six curved plates you can run them in the extruder over there but it's going to take a lot more power than it would to just roll them so 
That's why I chose to throw them in there. I actually forgot to throw them in before I started, so that's why I'm doing it now. But this will make some of the uh, potions available that weren't before. Um, I don't remember if purple drink needed it or not. Can't remember if that was something that needed to be in the fermenter. Can distill sugar cubes. A mutane brew to get purple drink or sugar canning machine okay so apparently that's not um, actually I do know I can look up this will show so yeah you got strong regenerative potion to strong poisonous potion uh, doesn't show anything in there so it's just straight fermenting it I'll read water to rum weedy juice to scotch weedy hop juice to beer mundane to weakness a stretched fire resistance brew to a stretched lame brew. I wonder why there is nothing up here. Strength to weakness. So it's just flat out fermenting it. There's no fermenting agent needed. Hmm. A healing potion to a harming potion. You used to have to actually, if you do it in the, uh, uh, brewing stand, you actually had to put something in there, you know, fermented spider eye to go from healing to harming. So, apparently by using the fermenter, you don't need the fermenting agent, or that's a goof by Greg and he'll let me know tomorrow if he's available to watch the video which the case is and when I do the update video if it changes I'll let you know then because he'll if it changes he'll put out a uh, weekend update video so we'll check that out then but and I will let you know what he says but as far as now you don't need a fermenting agent and I'm gonna go ahead and end this we already found the gooey in the NEI so no real reason to build this thing it you know takes heat units through the bottom uh, let me bring it up here real quick brings in energy from the bottom items will go in the left out the right which there's no items at the current moment so that doesn't really matter fluids also will go in the left and fluids will come out the top because they're heated it's like steamed so everything will go in the left side out the back or out the top because it's only fluid at the moment I was really hoping that he would set this to be able to be done with the forestry stuff because until he gets us some proper power sources, 
Stein and I, Stein has came up with a good idea. And I'm going, what am I doing with the bending cylinder in there? That I had actually forgotten all about. Guess I did get time to get it made there. Um, and that is the bio generator from uh, forestry. We're going to use that to make our power because I don't really feel like making another turbine over on the other side. So your fluids are going to go in there. You're going to come out the top, heat through the bottom, and there's your fermenter. So have a good one. Take it easy. And I will see you next time.